Are we aware of the problems that we face when using petroleum cars? The world's pollution are currently at an alarming rate and we have to find a solution to cope with these problems. Back to my question, the problems that we face at petroleum companies are wrecking our climate, causing water pollution and spending to lock in climate pollution. By looking at the statistics provided in the brochure, it is undeniable that global warming has becoming an issue when the burning of coal, oil and gas are still ongoing. Besides, Water pollution that caused by oil spills contributed to the problems that we face nowadays. Articles by articles had been written, petition by petition had been signed to curb this issue, but none works. Let's put an end to these problems. Before you felt despair on the environment, let us find a solution through innovation. Here's the topic that we are going to talk today, the fuel cell electric vehicle. It is a vehicle powered by using hydrogen cell. Yes, you didn't hear it wrong. We are going to solve our problem by using the first element in periodic table, hydrogen. Due to hydrogen's special properties, it has high energy efficiency, faster filling time, zero emission of greenhouse gas. In this video, we are going to answer the question, how to produce hydrogen, how to transport hydrogen to the gas station, and how to convert hydrogen to energy. And the last question, is it safe to power a car? The first method used to produce hydrogen gas is electrolysis process. Two metal coated electrodes are connected to a DC power source. At the anode, water will be oxidized to form oxygen gas and hydrogen ions. At cathode, the water will be reduced to hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions. Other than that, natural gas reforming method is also used. During the process, natural gas are reacted with high temperature steam to produce hydrogen, carbon monoxide. The carbon monoxide can be used to produce additional hydrogen gas by reacting it with water. Before the gas is ready to be used in vehicles, the gas must be purified first. Two methods are used, which is palladium diffusion and palladium purifier system. Both methods use palladium tubes because only hydrogen and its isotope can pass through and produce pure hydrogen. As we know, the hydrogen is not only the smallest but also the lightest element on Earth. Thus, in order to transport a large amount of this gas, it must be either pressurized and delivered as a compressed or liquefied gas. As of today, hydrogen is currently transported from where it is produced to the site of usage through pipeline. For stationary applications, the hydrogen can be delivered by truck to a storage facility or in cylinders. As hydrogen is a type of gas, it is hard to contain and has a very low density. So, the boys and Charles laws are applied to solve the problem of storing enough hydrogen in the fuel tanks. Boy explains that as long as the temperature doesn't change, the more pressure gas is kept under and it will be much denser. While Charles states that if the pressure is the same, gas expands as the temperature is increased. So, if the pressure must remain low, then the temperature must also remain low to keep the gas confined. To ensure the safeness of the hydrogen in stage, the stations have standardized safety systems which include grounding, breakaway hoses, and fire sensors, as well as sensors that measure pressure, temperature, and the case of gaseous hydrogen. They are designed to safely vent hydrogen in case of extreme emergency. Have you ever wondered how does hydrogen gas works when they pump into the car tank? Well, hydrogen power car has almost the same structure as the petrol power car. The only difference is the fuel tank is filled with hydrogen gas being operated by a fuel cell. When the car is driving at a low speed, the engine is operated by a battery. At a high speed, the fuel cells produce electricity using hydrogen. The electricity produces power, which also recharges the battery. But how fuel cells work to convert hydrogen into energy? At the anode side of battery, a catalyst builds the hydrogen molecules into electrons and protons. The protons pass through the porous electrolyte membrane, while the electrons are forced through a circuit, generating an electric current at excess heat. The half equation at the anode days, one more of hydrogen gas will produce two more of hydroxide ion and two more of electrons. At the cathode, the protons, electrons, and oxygen combine to produce water molecules. The half equation at the cathode is one more of hydrogen gas, with half more of oxygen gas will produce one more of water. As there are no moving parts, the fuel cells operate silently and with extremely high reliability. Our generation gain a lot by polluting the environment. Therefore, it's our responsibility to fix it. Based on our research, hydrogen fuel car is safe and has large potential to replace fossil fuel car. If the hydrogen fuel cell is well developed, it can contribute to the society, environment as well as our young generation. 
This innovation not just applied to the vehicle, it can diversify energy source worldwide. This video is created by Ang Yiheng, Becker Dao, Brandon Saw, Muizudin, and Raymond Yo. Thank you for watching.